This is near where yesterday's shooting erupted during that uh, during that attempted robbery. And as you mentioned, those suspects have been arrested in that case. Meanwhile, police are still looking for those responsible in killing a man nearby just about two blocks away on First and Walker early this morning. A Monday afternoon fight caught on camera ending in gunfire. Two men now in custody for robbery and assault. It's very quick and it's happening so fast. When a shootout happens on First Avenue at three o'clock in the afternoon, that's extremely concerning. Aaron Goodman, the executive director of Soto Business Improvement Area, says violence in our neighborhood is becoming a trend. Tuesday morning, police say a 52-year-old man was found shot dead around 3.30 just blocks away from Monday's fight near the intersection of First Avenue South and South Walker Street. That this violence is coming so quickly after each other is, is disturbing. According to SPD's crime dashboard, as of June 30th, there were 33 violent crimes in the Soto neighborhood, a number that has increased over the summer. Businesses that survived COVID are having a really hard time dealing with the significant increase in property crime and violent crime in this neighborhood. One of the businesses is Gallery B612, located in between the violent crimes that occurred along First Avenue. I'm hoping that it's not like crime is increasing, but it feels like it is, um, especially because it's my first time hearing about something like this happening so close to me. She's been working at this art gallery since the beginning of the year and is urging the city to do more to crack down on crime throughout the neighborhood. I really hope that the city does something because there's a lot of local businesses and I'm sure nobody would want to feel unsafe while they're working day to day, you know. And police are still investigating what led up to this morning's shooting as well as looking for those responsible. And if you have any tips, their SPD is asking you to reach out to them if you have any information on this morning's shooting. For now, live in Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.